Do you want to learn how to create a WordPress website in under 10 minutes? If the answer is yes, you came to the right place. Because in this video tutorial, I will show you how you can easily create your own website in a few simple steps. The best part is that you don't need any coding experience or huge investments. And I can guarantee you that, that after this video, you will be able to create your own WordPress website without any issues. So without further ado, let's jump into creating your WordPress website. All right, so for our WordPress website, we are going to need hosting. And once you land to hostinger.com, scroll down and choose the plan which fits your needs the best. For this video, I'm going to use premium shared hosting. So let's click add to cart. From here, choose your hosting package. I'm gonna keep it to 12 months. Right here, you will be able to create your account. So Select the payment method and as you can see with this hosting plan we are going to get free domain name and SSL certificate. Also don't forget to apply coupon code HA10 to get 10% discount off your purchase. From here the checkout procedure is pretty much the standard one so I'm gonna move on to the next part of this tutorial. Once you finish the checkout and you log into your hosting or account, you should see something like this. So let's start by setting up our hosting. Let's click setup. Let's click start now. And as you remember, we got a free domain name. So right here, we can claim our free domain name. Let's click select right here. Enter your desired domain name and click search. I highly recommend you to choose .com because it's the most popular one and the most recognizable for this tutorial. I'm going to use online, but like I said, I highly recommend you to choose .com. Just enter the domain name, click search and let's click continue. Let's select build a new website and let's choose WordPress. And right here, you'll have to enter your email address and set a password. You will use those credentials to log into your WordPress dashboard. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Once you have finished doing this, let's click continue. And as you can see right here, we have a list of various templates, which we can use for our WordPress website. Let's click show more and let's choose a template, which we would like to use for our WordPress website. Let's scroll down. Let's click show more. I guess I'm going to use this template. So let's click select. And if you want, you can also preview this template to check how it's going to look. But in this case, I'm just going to select this template. Let's click select and let's click finish setup. It might take a couple of minutes until the setup is complete. All right, perfect. Our website is ready. But before we go and visit our website, let's install SSL certificate. So let's click manage site. As you can see right here, we got this message that our domain name is not registered yet. So before we can install SSL certificate, we have to finish domain registration. So let's click finish domain registration. And right here, you will have to enter your details like first name, last name, address, city, and so on. So just enter all the needed information. And once you have finished doing this, just click setup. All right, from here, we can go back to our control panel. As you can see, the status of our domain name is active. So let's go to hosting. Let's click manage on our website. And now we can install SSL certificate. So let's scroll down until you see SSL right here. Let's select it. And right here, you will be able to install your SSL certificate. So let's click setup and let's click activate. And all we have to do is just click install. And as you can see, the SSL certificate was installed successfully. And if your SSL certificate fails to install, it usually happens because your domain name registration hasn't finished yet. It usually takes about two hours. So wait a little bit of time, let's say about one or two hours and try installing SSL certificate one more time and you shouldn't face any issues anymore. All right, so we successfully installed our SSL certificate and from here we can go ahead and visit our website. All right, as you can see, this is how our website it looks now and it looks quite good but it has a lot of demo content which might not be useful for our website so we can change anything we want so first of all we have to log into our wordpress dashboard and to do this you want to go to your url and add slash wp dash admin click enter and here you'll have to enter the credentials which we created previously to log into our wordpress website you can select remember me and click login all right so the very first thing which we can do is we can go to the home 
home page let's go right here let's click visit site and as you can see here in the top navigation menu we have five different pages so we can identify which pages we would like to keep and which pages we would like to delete or rename so as you can see we have a home page so I'm gonna keep a home page I'm gonna keep about me page I'm just gonna change it I will keep courses and I will change get fit page to contact us because I believe this page is meant for contacting us yeah that's correct so yeah I'm gonna change this page to contact us and I'm gonna delete the last page publications and I guess I will add another page which is going to be a blog here our visitors will be able to check our blog all right so let's start changing the pages let's go to the dashboard and all settings related to pages are done right here let's select all pages and as you can see here we have the list of all available pages so we can change about me let's click quick edit and let's change it to contact us once you have finished doing this click update and let's decide which pages we are not going to use so obviously we are not going to use sample page we can put it to the trash and we can do the same with this page so just like that I'm gonna rename some of the other pages all right so I just finished renaming all the pages and now we can add another page which will be named blog and it will be used to display our blog post so let's add a title let's name it blog once you have done this let's click publish let's click publish and now we can go back to the dashboard all right so as you can see now we have all the pages which we need so the next thing which we should do is we have to set this blog page to display our blog post so to do this you want to go to the settings section and let's select reading all right so in this section as you can see our home page is set to display page called home and for post page let's select blog and let's click save changes so since we are in the settings section we can do another very important setting which is right here permalinks and let's select to show post name this is quite important for SEO so let's click save changes so basically yeah we are almost done with pages but now we have to do some adjustments in menus let's go to appearance let's click menus and here as you can see since we deleted publication page it says that it's invalid so we have to delete it let's click remove and we have to add our blog page so to do this let's click view all let's select blog and let's click add to menu all right let's click save menu and now we can go back to our home page and let's see how everything looks all right so as you can see now we have all the needed pages we have about us courses contact us and a blog once we click on the blog here we will be able to access our blog post so once you add more blog posts everything will be displayed right here so the next thing which we can do we can start customizing our theme so to do this you will have to click click right here customize and let's start by changing the logo let's click right here let's click edit and let's select change logo since I have already uploaded my logo I'm just gonna select from the media library but if you will need upload images or media files you can do this by going right here upload files all right so I'm just gonna select this logo I'm gonna click crop image all right I believe it looks great I can resize the logo to make it a little bit smaller yeah everything looks great so we can click publish of course there are more customizations options available don't be afraid to test everything yourself this way you learn how to use WordPress even better all right we can close this customization tab and the next thing which we can do is we can start editing our home page so since all pages are built with Elementor we will have to edit them using Elementor so to edit this page you will have to click right here edit with Elementor so let's start with the very first section we can change the background image so by clicking right here we will be able to change this image so let's click styles and as you can see this is the image which we have to change let's click choose image and I'm gonna select this image all right I'm gonna click insert all right it looks much better and uh, right here we can also do some changes to the text so to edit text all you have to do is just click on it and this way you will be able to edit text so just like that I'm gonna change the text all right as you can see I finished doing the changes I have changed the text I removed some of the sections which might not be relevant to my website and to remove a certain section all we have to do is just click right here and you will delete it so just like that using Elementor you can edit any page you want once you have finished doing changes all you have to do is just click update and from here we can go back to our page let's click right here and let's click view page all right as you can see this is how it looks now it looks much better and the next thing which we can do is we can start adding blog posts so to do this you want to go to your dashboard and all things related to blog posts are done right here so before we add our first blog post let's create some categories let's click categories and as you can see we have some categories already added the ones which we are not going to use we can delete them and this other category on categorized we can rename it 
All right, using this section right here, let's add some new categories. Click add new category. And just like that, you can add as many categories as you need. All right, so since we have added some categories, we can add a new blog post. Let's click add new. And all you have to do right here, just give a title to your blog post and add content right here. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. All right, I just finished adding text to my blog post. And as you can see, this is how it's going to look. And if you will need to add any other elements to your blog post, such as images, lists, or anything similar, everything can be found right here. Once you click on this symbol, you will find all available elements. Just select the element you want to use and it will be added to your blog post. All right, so once you have finished with your blog post, the next thing which you have to do is go to document section and let's select the category for this post. All right, I'm gonna select WordPress and let's set a featured image. So since I have uploaded this image to my gallery, I'm just gonna select this one. And if you need to upload image, you can do this by clicking right here. All right, I'm just gonna set the featured image. And once you have finished with that, you can click publish and let's click publish one more time and just like that we published our first blog post we can click to view this post and as you can see this is how our blog post is going to look so just like that we added our first blog post let's go to the home of our website so basically that's all this is how you can easily build your own WordPress website in a few simple steps so as you saw it yourself it is very easy it only took us about 10 minutes to create this website. Of course, building a website is just the beginning and the whole fun part starts now. Feel free to visit our SEO playlist for beginners to start increasing your website's influence on the web. If you learned something new today, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and good luck in your online journey.